We're very happy and thrilled to tell you that we've made a second arrest last night. Tonight, two arrests and two arrest warrants in the French Quarter beating and robbery of two visitors from Boston. Good evening, I'm Natalie Shepard. And I'm Tan Trung. Karen Swenson is off tonight. Two suspects are behind bars tonight. Police believe they were involved in Saturday night's attack on two tourists in the French Quarter. And two other suspects are still on the loose, but we now know who they are. Paul Murphy is at the 8th District Police Station and has some new details in the case. Paul? Natalie Tan, two of the suspects made their first appearance in court this morning, and now police and U.S. Marshals are working around the clock to round up the others that were involved in what NOPD Superintendent Michael Harrison called a heinous and deliberate attack on two visitors. Court documents revealed new details about Saturday night's vicious beating and robbery in the French Quarter. 21-year-old Dewan Paul is accused of running up behind Tim Byrne, a visitor from Boston, striking him in the right side of the face with a closed fist, causing him to fall face first into the pavement. The attack put Byrne in the hospital with a severe brain injury. Documents also name 18-year-old Joshua Simmons as the man who removed Byrne's wallet and cell phone as he lay motionless on the ground. Both Simmons and Paul surrendered to police. This morning, a New Orleans magistrate ordered that the suspects be held without bond until a hearing Friday morning. Legal analyst Craig Murdoch was in the courtroom. I, I seriously doubt either of them might be able to make a bond, um, but I think holding them until we could see have the facts develop was the right call for the judge in this case. The NOPD is now looking for the two men accused of robbing the other victim, James Curran. They are identified as 18-year-old Nicholas Polgalski and 20-year-old Rashad Piper. The U.S. Marshals, in conjunction with the Violent Offenders Warrant Squad, are out there actively searching for them. Uh, when we locate them, they will be arrested. In court, prosecutors described the victim, Tim Byrne, as close to death and told the judge charges in the case may soon be upgraded to first-degree murder. Later, police superintendent Michael Harrison updated Burns's condition. He has uh, somewhat improved and is now off of the ventilator and breathing on his own, but still not able to fully engage the way we would need. Uh, so his condition, we believe, has improved, but is still critical. Both Paul and Simmons are now charged with a second degree robbery, which carries up to a 40 year sentence if convicted. Paul also faces a drug charge and he had an outstanding warrant from Texas. We're live in the French Quarter, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Well, and Paul, tonight